I felt quite confident on the bike after a few laps. After about 10 laps, I was probably going through the corners of the gear higher. I probably wouldn't even use first gear with a slowish hairpin because the thing will pull out the corner. Makes some pretty fearsome clattering noises, but the thing actually does pull at an incredibly low rev. It's incredibly tractable. To be honest, I mean, I was looking at the rev count down the street, I was running about 9,000 in top, it was rev to 12, so I was using about half its power, so it, it was plenty fast enough for me. Thank you, fantastic. It's certainly a bit different to anything else I've ever ridden. It's quite a unique <laughs> experience when you've got 220 or spare or something. <laughs> It's got incredibly powerful brakes, unbelievable. That is the biggest difference between the, the road bikes or bikes that I've ridden them. I'm more than happy to go around there 10 seconds off the pace. That's quite, quite good for me. I and mean, then just a sheer experience of riding the thing. You know, what a buzz. I mean, absolutely incredible. It didn't make me feel too confident to have Carlos Checker standing in the pits, waiting for his bike to come back. But actually, the whole day was just amazing just to have everybody rushing around, all the entire team, everybody thought it was a great bit of fun. Probably weren't too keen on me staying out there a bit longer than I should have done, but the boss said, yeah, you just stay out there as long as you want, you know, make the journos wait, <laughs> which is fine with me. <laughs> Just a wonderful experience.